All right, in this video, we are going to be working on multiplying polynomials. Um, in the past, we've done binomial times a binomial. Uh, so today, I'm going to focus on doing a binomial times a trinomial and a trinomial times a trinomial. All right, I'm going to do problems 1, 3, and 5 in this video. All right, so problem number 1. We're just doing the distributive property. We're going to multiply this through. So um, 3 times 4 is 12. x to the 4th times x to the 3rd. That is x to the 7th power. And then uh, 3 times 5, so that's negative 15 x to the 6th power. So that's it for number 1. Now for number 3, we have to do the, the distributive property, but we're going to do it twice. So let's start off with the 2x, and we're going to distribute that. 2x times each of these things. So that's going to give me uh, 2x times x squared. That's going to be 2x to the third power. Uh, now 2x times 2x, that's going to be 4x squared. And now 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. All right, so we distributed the 2x. Now it's time to distribute the negative 3. So we will take the negative 3 and multiply that by everything. So negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Now you could stick this on the end like this, negative 3x squared, or I'll, you know, let me tell you what I like to do. I like to line up my like terms. So if I see it's going to be negative 3x squared, I like to put it right underneath um, the other x squared that's already there. So if you're comfortable with that, I recommend it. Uh, and then negative 3 times 2x, that'll be negative 6x. So see how I can put that right under here because these are like terms. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. OK, so now we, we will just combine our like terms. And we've lined them up, so that's just a little extra convenience. Uh, the 2x to the third power has no like term to go with it. So we'll just bring it down, 2x to the third power. Uh, together, these will just be positive x squared. Negative 6 and another negative 6 make negative 12. So that's negative 12x. And bring down the 9. OK, so that is your answer number 3. And number 5, same thing, only we're going to do it three times. So let's start by distributing the x squared. So we will take this x squared and multiply it by each of these three terms. x squared times x squared, that's going to be x to the fourth power. Then x squared times 2x, that'll be 2x to the third power. OK, so that'll be plus 2x to the third power. All right, and x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. OK. Now we will distribute the next term, uh, positive x. So we're going to take this positive x and multiply that by each term. So negative x times x squared, that's x to the, th I, I'm sorry, I said negative x. x times x squared is x to the third power. And again, I like to line that up with its like term x times 2x is 2x squared. So that's positive 2x squared. Then x times negative 3 is negative 3x. All right, now we still must distribute the negative 6. OK, so I will take this negative 6 and I will multiply it here here and here. All right, I'm distributing the negative 6 now. So negative 6 times x squared is negative 6x squared. 
Again, it helps to line up those like terms. Negative 6 times 2x is negative 12x. So there's your negative 12x. And uh, negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. So now we can combine like terms. x to the fourth power has no like terms, so that's just x to the fourth power. Now here we have 2x to the third power plus another x to the third power, so that will be 3x to the third power. Now here we have negative 3 plus 2 minus 6. Negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 6 make negative 7. So that's negative 7 x squared. Now you should be able to do that in your head just like I did. Um, but if you need it, you can also do your calculator. Negative 3 plus 2 minus 6. Okay, there's your negative 7. Anyway, negative 3 and negative 12 make negative 15. So negative 15x and then r plus 18. So this would be your answer to number 5. Okay, so um, that's a little dose of multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial. Um, I'm going to do up the uh, Pascal's triangle binomial expansion problem number 10 here on the next video. So if you need help on number 10, watch the next video.